sugar cane. Maybe the most useful item in Minecraft. You can use it to craft rockets and bookshelves. And uh, I don't know. But trust me, it's pretty handy to have. So today we're going to build a gigantic factory to produce infinite sugar cane for us. All in Minecraft hardcore. Then I'll never have to do this ever again. Oh gosh, I'm so lazy. Now the funny thing is, I actually have a beautiful sugar cane farm in this town already. If we hop over this way, look at this beautiful little sugar cane field. And for a normal player, this would suffice. But unfortunately, I am addicted to fireworks. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. Also, when did it start raining? I don't know, but we got work to do, so let's get focused. This is gonna be a big project. So our first goal was to pick a great location to build the factory. Well, actually, that's our second goal. You can't build cool things in Minecraft on an empty stomach. Oh, villagers, feed me. I'm hungry. Golden carrots, don't mind if I do. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you guys. Oh, delicious. Okay, on we go. Okay, where would a sugarcane factory go? I mean, would it be dumb to put it right next to that sugarcane farm? Like right around here? I mean, it's already flat. There's a beautiful amethyst tree right next to it. You know what? Why not? So let's do a little bit of terraforming. Bro, I hate Endermen. Why do they do this? Just put your blocks back where they belong. Or like at least put the blocks in these holes in the ground so you at least help me. Unhelpful butts. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> and now let's make an outline using dirt to see how big this thing's gonna be. And just for the record, I want this thing to be massive. Yeah, that should be big enough. Farzy approves. Farzy also is dumb. Very dumb. Does Farzy have any totems? Oh, yeah. Thank goodness for totem farms. But getting back on track, it's time to start construction on the big factory. Now, I want this building to produce literally thousands and thousands of sugar cane. So I need to make it really big and really tall. And to do that, we need a lot of blocks. Away we go. Ah, a little inspiration over here. Now, I've actually made a factory in this world before in the case of this wood factory. And for this building, I made it out of all wood because it's a wood factory. It makes sense. But I can't build a sugarcane factory out of sugarcane. I mean, I could, but that'd be pretty difficult, so probably not. I really wish Minecraft had sugar cubes in the game. That'd be helpful for this build. All right, let's see what we can do here. So I did what I always do. I hopped into a separate creative mode world to get some planning done. And I'm thinking we use some green blocks. Then the build can be the same color as the actual sugarcane itself. I'm not gonna lie, though. This block palette looks a little bit familiar. Creeperish, one might say. But regardless, it looks epic, so let's do it. So back I went to my hardcore world. All right, let's get to work. Oh, I'm out of fireworks. That's ironic. All right, old farm, you get one last day with me. But after this, you're nothing to me. Now give me all the sugar cane. And that's what I'm talking about. So let's start off by grabbing some wood from the wood farm. Then we can build some big wooden supports for the building. So I'm going to take my oak saplings, hop in the machine, and I'm going to go bada bing. I'm going to go bada boom. And I'm going to get tons of Oak wood. Um, it appears the machine is out of bone meal. BRB. Skeleton farm. Excuse me. Anybody up there? Hello. Hello there, sir. Now you're dead. <laughs> and now the wood farm should work. And would you look at all this delicious wood? Yum, yum, yum. Don't include that. Uh, that was cringy. But we're gonna take our wood and make some nice big support beams like this. And all right, that's a solid foundation. Now we just got to get a bunch of green blocks to put in between those giant pillars. Why are you up here, Mr. Skeleton? This is my amethyst tree. Oh, I love that sound. Listen to that. Oh, it's so majestic. All right, let's stay focused. We got plenty of work ahead of us. So our first pit stop was to go fly out to a desert so we can get some green dye. And here we are underneath the rocket ship in the beautiful desert. And lucky for me, I got a little mini cactus farm over here. And let's see what we got in here. A little bit. I probably could use some more though. Stupid you farm. One day, I might need a cactus factory, too. But that's for another day. Hello there, Mr. Cactus. And as I collect my cacti, please subscribe and hit the bell. Ooh, a little village over here. I haven't been here before. Hello there, friends and baby. You guys got any loot for me? Ooh, cacti. I'll actually take that. Oh, and can't forget the bell and the hay. I'm over 3,000 days in this world, and I'm still stealing from villages. I should be ashamed of myself. Haha. <laughs> oh, you're too slow. You're too slow for me. See ya. Now we just fly back home. And it. And we can toss all this cacti into the super smelter. Yes, I love when things work properly. Hopefully the factory works this well too. Now with all the die crafted, it's time to turn this die into actual usable blocks. Now the main blocks I want to use are terracotta, concrete, and wool. And maybe a few other blocks too. But to make a long story short, we got a few more adventures to go on today. First up, terracotta. I was literally just here like a minute ago, but I forgot I needed terracotta. No one watches my channel for the smarts. They watch it for the prime entertainment. 360 break. Come on, that was pretty cool.
Like I said, prime entertainment. But I brought about three shulker boxes here because I need a lot of terracotta. It's probably the thing I'll need most of. Well, this and sugarcane. But these blocks are important too. You know what I just thought of? One day, I really want to build up here in the Mesa biome. Like, imagine, like, a terracotta build. I mean, I already did that once in an old SMP, but that was in my cringy thumbnail era, so I want to forget that. Kids, learn from your mistakes. Carrying on. Next up on the agenda, we got some lime and green wool from my wool farm. Then I flew out to the jungle to get some extra nature blocks. I think jungle leaves will look amazing as, like, a detail block around the factory. And maybe some vines, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, is that what I think it is? It's my jungle mansion. Home to the magical and majestical... Charlton! What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm happy to see there's no parties here for once. This dude's the most popular guy in the jungle. But I can't talk now. I got work to do today. Uh, mm, can't resist. Must disco. Disco break! <laughs> Okay, now back to work. And I think we're all set to begin building. So we're gonna smash down all this dirt, and we're gonna replace it with these green blocks I got to make kind of a sugarcane texture. And then we can take some spruce wood and add these details along the side to kind of make it look a little more shape. And... Why does it look kind of weird? Oh... I forgot to get concrete. Uh, I mean, do I need concrete? Mm. Ah, Farsi, don't be lazy. Just go do it. I hate being responsible. Ow. Shut up. Don't judge me. So to make concrete, I need some sand, which I have a little bit of, and some gravel, which I have not much of. I hate it here, man. We don't got nothing. Hey, little fishy, how you doing? Oh, I love fish. And that right there is how you make concrete. Now let's get back to building. So let's make the proper walls. And that looks a lot better. I guess I'm drawing a crowd as well. Back off. I'm very busy. Now we'll toss in some more wood pillars and use the rest of our wood to fill up the entire wall with details. This place is gonna look so good. All right, so far, I'm really liking the place. I just want a small gate around the front of it. Something kind of like this. And last but not least, we need to put a giant roof on this thing. And I think we can just put some slabs like this and just kind of like pillar up. Let's see how this looks. So I built this absolutely gorgeous rooftop and added in some copper chimneys to make it look like a real factory. Heck yes, this thing looks epic. Uh, what the heck? Oh, I did not mean it. I was simply admiring these amazing chimneys. Boy, does that look cool. Now I just want to add one more little detail to this thing. So my original idea was actually to build a sugarcane pixel art on the front of the building. Kind of like a billboard for the factory. But I tested it in my creative mode world and it didn't look very good. So it's time for plan B. But first I must sleep. While making the factory, I added some of these little hanging flower pots. And the goal was simply to put some flowers in here. But what if I did something like this and did something like that? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Come on, baby. Oh, ho, ho. Barzy's a genius. I'm so smart. Aha. Uh -huh. That is perfect. If my channel ever dies, I should work in marketing. But ladies and gentlemen, we can officially say that the factory building itself is 100% complete. And that means now it's the moment of truth. It's time to turn the interior of this building into a gigantic sugarcane farm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but let's do this thing. So if I recall correctly, these farms are actually pretty easy to make. You just put down some blocks, some pistons, a little bit of redstone, and observers. And if I just plant some sugarcane right here, this should automatically chop it. Yeah, look at that. That's so easy. All right, sweet. Now I just gotta make this like a hundred times bigger. Is that a hole in the roof? I'll handle that later. We got a big farm to make. Let's go grab some materials. All right, fine. I'll fix it now. Stupid safety. So as you saw, this farm's gonna require quite a few redstone components, like pistons and observers. So that means we gotta get quite a bit of redstone and actually quartz too, because you use quartz to make observers. But first, we need some more food because I eat so much. I guess my Minecraft guy has a big appetite. Ah, uh, there we are. Thank you, Bob. I love Bob. He's the best. But that redstone won't get itself, so let's hop in the cave and let's get to mining. Please don't do this. I'm here in peace. I just want to get redstone. But the issue here is that we've been mining in this same cave for like almost a year now, so it's kind of hard to find redstone sometimes. Oh my gosh. I've been playing this world for almost a year? Oh, I'm getting old. Oh, not old enough, apparently. Redstone. Thank you very much. But I carried on getting every single piece of redstone left in this cave. Ooh. I wish these geodes were more useful because they're so cool to find, but they just, they do nothing for me. Minecraft, add amethyst tools. I only charge a small fee for royalties. 
This farm better be worth it, because this is literally the longest process ever. But sometimes it's worth it. Thank you very much. And I think that should suffice. Now it's time for the quartz. And if you thought redstone was annoying to get, wait till you see the quartz grind. Not long ago, I made a giant quartz temple in the sky. And it was probably my favorite build I've ever made. It was so epic. But as you can imagine, I mined all the quartz. Or maybe I didn't, but I thought I mined a lot of them. So yeah, this is going to be kind of annoying. Or not. I guess I missed some. Well, that's good for me today. I'm not going to complain. Sweet. Okay, I guess I totally exaggerated how many quartz I use. Because I'm finding so many right now. Yum, yum, yum. Absolutely delicious. Redstone, quartz, check and check. And now it's time to grab the essentials. Sugar cane, which should be pretty easy to come by. Like right here. Hello. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, oh my gosh. I literally have a, I have a farm. What am I doing? Stupid, stupid, stupid. And of course, we gotta get water so we can plant the sugar cane. But this won't be as easy because you can only stack one water bucket at a time. Minecraft, sometimes you make it so difficult to have fun. This is one of those times. And as we watch the beautiful sunset, it's time to begin building the gigantic farm. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's do this thing. Oh, on second thought, wait one second. Wait one second. It's the freaking gold zombie invasion. You're dead to me. You're dead to everybody too. Get it? Because you're dead. And total side note, I'd really appreciate it if you joined my official Farzy Discord server. Link in the description. Okay, it's showtime. So I took that simple farm design I showed you earlier and I stacked it over and over, forming a giant sugarcane farm tower. Okay, looking good. And I'm like 95% sure it's gonna work. So let's give it a little test. Oh yeah. I like the look of that. Now my goal is to build the exact same farm on the other side of the factory. Then we'll have double the efficiency. And that tower will be there in three, two, one. Aha, I'm a magician. And for my next trick, you will subscribe to Farzy. Alakazam. And if you don't, the cat gets it. I'm just kidding, Patches. I love you. Bro, can we stop with the... I guess I gotta put some more lights around the place. But with the sugarcane farms out of the way, we had to make a collection system to get all the loot in one spot. And I have possibly the coolest idea ever. We're gonna make a super fancy redstone-powered collection system to make the factory really come to life. I promise you, it'll be the coolest thing you've ever Seen. Well, probably. But before that, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 20,000 likes, I would explode 10,000 pieces of TNT. And even though we didn't hit it, I'm still gonna do the challenge because I'm a nice guy. Well, that and the fact that I AFK to my creeper farm for like 24 hours. That's kind of a big part of it. So yeah, we're gonna do it. But after getting all the gunpowder, I hit the desert to go get a bunch of sand. Okay, I did not realize how big of a number 10,000 is. This is actually gonna take forever. And there we finally have it. 10,000 blocks of TNT. This is about to be epic. And I think the best place to explode this stuff is in the nether, because then that way I can maybe get ancient debris too. And who doesn't love that? I just gotta find some flat land that's low to the ground. Oh, Bastion, hello? Not what I'm looking for, but that's cool, I guess. Oh, over here might suffice. All right, I think this will do. Let's dig down a little bit. Uh, not that way, I guess. And let's just keep digging this way for about 10,000 blocks. Oh, or not. I oh, hate lava, man. Nope. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you guys. Thank you. And thank you. I'm already so bored of this. This is far too much TNT to place. And there we go. 10,000 pieces of TNT. That took far too long, but here we go. Three, two, one. Ignite it and run away. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. That's gonna go on for quite a while. And after all that, I mined all the ancient debris I could find and then traveled back home. And we have acquired a grand total of 51 ancient debris. If you ask me, that was pretty worth it. But that being said, if this video gets 15,000 likes, I'll fight an entire raid with no tools, armor, or totem. Because nobody loves risking their hardcore world like I do. Cause that's totally safe, right? Probably not, but like the video anyways. Okay, let's get back to to our amazing collection system. And this can be broken down into four simple steps. Step one, dig a giant trench and fill it up with water. And of course, we gotta do this on both sides. Now all the crops in the entire factory will all land to one centralized point here in the middle. Also, small life hack here. If you use packed ice in these water systems, they go a lot faster. And let's give it a test. Oh yeah, there we go. Now step two of my plan is to make a giant water elevator right here in the middle that carries all the loot up to the roof. So we'll smash down a giant glass tube. 
will power the elevator using soul sand, a little bit of water, and a whole lot of kelp. Come on, baby, please work. Did it work? Oh, it worked. It worked. Yes, sir. I like that. Now, for the final couple steps, I took a bunch of wood and filled in the ceiling. That way, I have a place to hide all the redstone. Now, as you can see, all the sugar cane comes flying up here in this giant, amazing blaze of glory. But it's kind of just sitting here. But using my redstone magic, I'm gonna make a little system that brings the sugar cane over here, over here, and it's gonna go down here to a chest room. It's gonna be absolutely flawless. So let me go grab some more wood. Ow. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. Grab some more redstone, and let's do this thing. Wait, what did I just hear? <gasps> Hello, but where are you? You're invisible? Oh no, I guess he despawned. Oh, so tragic. All right, back to work. Boom, 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 boom. And a final few booms right over here. So many booms. But this system works flawlessly. Everything comes around this way on each side, goes into these hoppers, and gets pushed down here where we're gonna have some chests. So the hopper line ends here, so I gotta somehow get the chests right in this column. I didn't do it. Oh, I did it. Aha, I got one. But I think I'm still missing a few. There we go. This is a lot better. And that should be it for the chest system. That is a lot of chests on both sides. Oh. Hello, Mr. Enderman. You're not part of this farm, but you can be if you want to get in there. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. But here comes the moment of truth. Is the farm working? Ooh. Okay, nothing on that side yet. What about this side? Please. Aha! So it's all going one way. That's annoying. But you know what? I don't care. It works. Everybody's happy. Except maybe not the village back here that's getting its view blocked by a giant factory. I can see them being a little bit unhappy. Now we just gotta let the farm run for a little bit and see how good it actually is. But in the meantime, I have a really good idea. Every single episode, I like to add one new building to my medieval town here. And technically, that factory is the new building in the town. But currently, I have no way to get to the factory easily. I gotta, like, hop over this guy's roof or hop over the crops. It's very annoying and stressful, and I don't like it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, you are. So I decided to build a beautiful custom cliffside with a road in the middle of it to go right from the factory back to the rest of my town. And somehow, I already ran out of stone. I really need to go mining more often. I hate being a broke boy. Now, just adding the finishing touches. And there we have it. A beautiful mossy pathway down to the town. And the funny part is this pathway also leads to my cow farm, which I never ever use. I like totally forgot about it. Hello there, gentlemen. Now give me leather. Yes, sir. I actually love this farm. I should use it more often. And in the time it took me to build that road, we got Ooh, that is actually really efficient. Okay, this farm is really impressing me so far. That was only like 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Oh, and look who's back. Hello Hello again, my friend. I thought I saw you earlier. What do you got for me? Nothing too good. Well, okay, dude. Have a wonderful day. What a nice guy. What'd you think was gonna happen? You guys are some strange people. But that's gonna be it from me. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.